begin. <laughs> well, hello. Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, that's that's one way to start. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Not Spooky Bones Round. I'm your host, John Mugiwara JM, and welcome back to some more Alan Wake. I am your host, John Mugiwara JM, joined by my co-host, as always, uh, Rich Raymond, 767. Hello, everybody. And now I'm being attacked by a killer tractor again. Oh, boy. All right, so I actually have a confession to make. I'm lying. Um... We recorded this already, and then we lost the audio for the final episode. So what we're doing now is we're watching the raw footage, or at least an edited version of it. Because the actual finale, uh, without any edits, was like an hour, <laughs> like, like uh, an hour and a half long. well over that. So what I did, so because we lost the audio, we have the footage, and I do not want to play this game again. Uh, and redo that? Fuck. Any other game, I'd be like, hell yeah, let's do it. Alan Wake? No, fuck it. Um, I, I, I was like, you know what? Let's just watch the footage back, or at least an edited version of it, where there's not as many deaths. The only deaths that are in here are my first try, and where I died of something funny. Yeah, and, um, and what, what ended up happening on my end was I had the audio from my portion recorded. Oh. So what had happened was... I obviously went to go take a shower and such, and I was like, oh, I've let the audio finish rendering, and, you know, my computer was obviously on. But, um, I don't know how, but apparently Windows did an automatic update, and I thought initially it was going to be okay, but, um, yeah, so... John had already gone to sleep at that point because it, it, we hadn't finished till like what one o'clock in the morning at that point. I, I think but, so, uh, but because I I had off the next day, so I was up. Yeah, that's right. I had off the next day. You had worked the next day, but not till later. But uh, so he had actually gone off to sleep, and when I got back upstairs, I was like, "Where's my audio file?" Mm. And, and and I also I saw um, the blue screen that was saying, oh, you know, finishing update. And I'm like, wait a minute, what update? So, uh, <laughs> yeah, that, um, that See, sucked. You had, you had a random update that went out. And apparently, if unless you change the active hours, which I had to because I had this exact same problem happening once. I changed the hours to the active hours on Windows to... I made it so that they'll never install an update unless I'm up at six in the morning, which is never going to happen. <laughs> like I'm never on my computer at six. Like at the yeah. absolute worst, if I'm up late gaming or editing, I conk out at like maybe three or four, five if it's a really good game and I'm up on start. Yeah. But no, no, I, I set it to like five to like ten. Like it's very unreasonable, but that that keeps Windows from updating while I'm trying to do work. Yeah, and I I normally don't uh, I normally don't have my my PC on all the time, so there will be uh, freaking weeks, almost months, um, where it's not on, uh, mm -hmm. unless you know we're obviously recording. But other than that, um, or not yeah, it's mainly off most of the time. So it's like, oh yeah, there's a bunch of updates you missed, and apparently this and that, and it's like okay. Um, okay, there is a flash there for a minute. Yeah, it's the game's attempts at a jump scare and it never works. Yeah, and then, well, yeah. Oh no, this tornado! Oh my god. This fucking, ugh. Yeah, this, I think this is like the ass end. Like, or the, like the last area. But, um, yeah, so that, uh, that definitely sucked. But, here we are fixing it. Yeah, I'd rather, ha like, we promised we'd finish this game for years. I would hate for us to end on it and go, fuck it, we lost the footage, we can't do anything. Yeah, well, <laughs> you know, I thought about that. That would have actually been a fun uh, cliffhanger, honestly. Um, really? Because we left them on a cliffhanger for four years. Uh, yeah, I mean, but that would have been, like, a bigger cliffhanger, because it's like, how does it end? How does it end? But, um... It would yeah. be like the end of uh, the Pan and Stocking season one. How, what happens next? Nothing. It never got another season. 
or the uh, or the end of The Sopranos, where it just immediately cuts to black without any other context. Actually, that would be a bet. That would be a much better comparison, honestly, because like, because <laughs> like, no literally nothing happens next. You know, it's like. You want to talk about a cliffhanger, it's like, supposedly someone walked into the restaurant, and then Tony Soprano looks up, and then boom, fade to black. And it's like, yeah. who was it? So, I, it, it's like... I haven't watched The Sopranos yet, but don't worry, like, way before I even had any interest in watching the show, I already knew about the ending, so uh, you didn't ruin anything for me. Well, I didn't know anything about the ending at all. I still don't, so... Um, we, we just know that that's what they choose to go out on. The only thing I could think, uh, in all honesty, is that, yeah, uh, Tony got whacked. That's the only thing I can think. I still don't know that for 100% sure, so I don't know. I but, think they uh, did an interview recently with the guy who made the show. And he, they yeah, asked David him, Chase. Like, what, they were like, what, like, if he finished the show today, what would he do? He's, then uh, he's. I think he said, like, you, like, you know how in the opening it's like him going from New Jersey to New York? Like, yeah, it would it would be the reverse where he goes back home and he goes to a restaurant and then he gets whacked. Yeah, yeah, that would. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be that. Like, I haven't watched the show at all, but I, but knowing that that's that's like a good way to like cap it off. Like, it always opens with him going from to and from, have it end going the opposite direction, and then he, you know, the end. Yeah, and uh, but um, yeah, so yeah, that would have been a. F that would have been a neat cliffhanger, but at the same time, it's like, yeah, I am in agreement with you where it's just like, yeah, we just got to finish this. Yeah, I'd rather like th this has been a strong year of us going into our old series and finishing them off. Like Austin and I knocked out Grim Fandango after a year of not doing it. We did the Resident Evil 2 remake and well, we finished one playthrough of it. We will we'll finish the Leon one next year. Cause it's just the, the as of as of this uh, recording, we're recording this the night before Thanksgiving, and uh, the schedule for 2021 is full. So yeah, no room for Leon. Uh, the end of the Leon run, I think that'll have to wait until after Valentine's Day. Because yeah, when I said the 2021 schedule is full, I also meant the January and middle of February schedule too. Yeah, because Austin and I have started a little tradition now for SBR that's not only good for the channel, but also good for our mental health. Like once we fill the schedule to like Valentine's Day, which is around the birth day of the challenge, uh, the channel, like we'll, like once we fill that schedule, let's take a break for the holidays. And that's basically what you and I are doing, because like this is our last recording session for 2021, I imagine. Well, yeah, and not to mention even before that, we we did that. um in between, I remember, what was it, 2018 to 2019? Because I know I was in the middle of, I was in the middle of actually um, transitioning to another job around that time. So that's right, because it, there were there. I, I keep forgetting there was a time where you were the only other active contributor. Uh, Austin didn't join the channel till later. Right, and I remember I was in the. I was in the uh, I was in the transition of going from going from Jersey over to Delaware for a job, and uh, I know it was around that time, like late eighteen, early nineteen, because um, I you know had to get a lot of things figured out and stuff. So it was um, so yeah, no, it was definitely. I know we definitely did a holiday break around that time. I do remember that. Yeah, plus uh, the my day job like it's really crazy around uh, this time of year anyway. So I, I just don't have the mental fortitude, or frankly, nobody does to do that and this. Plus, I mean, depending on and depending on whoever's take on holidays are um, either you like this time of year or you loathe it like I do. Um, uh, in my, I in my loathe... downtime, lo love it. In my work time, hate it. Uh, in my downtime and my work time, hate it. Uh, I, I just, no offense, and I'm not, and I am not, uh, downing anyone for the passion for the holidays, but to me, as I just gotten older, it's just lost its touch for me, and yeah. it, it just, that's just me, and, uh, you know, again, if you love this time of year with the holidays, you, hey, more power to you. Um, yeah, app discussion too, because this is going up like right before December hits, I think. 
So it, uh, you know, it just for me, it's like, I hate this time of year. Uh, the only exceptions are the weather because it gets colder. Mm -hmm. um, and it's an excuse to, uh, to drink. <laughs> um, yeah, it depends however you partake in that. You know, that's totally up to you. You know, I also don't like the fact that, that uh, this game is still trying to make birds scary. Yeah, I mean, you know, there's only one person that has made birds scary, and that was um, Alfred Hitchcock. So, uh, other than that, yeah, good luck. <laughs> yeah, it, it, like, I guess they were trying to pay tribute to him. Like, it, it honestly bleeds into my, my one problem I've had with this game, which I'll reserve my full thoughts on until we get to the end. Because that's usually what we do. We, we, we save our full thoughts until the end. You guys know what my thoughts in real time are. Remember yesterday's episode, episode 19, with Matt, uh, modern camping equipment just gets set on light rates. Wait, wait, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, John, did you know that modern camping equipment is considered lightweight? Suck my balls. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, so uh, that's just my uh, take on it. <laughs> I think I just wandered off the bridge. Oh my God. Yeah, that, I do vaguely remember um, you had like a, a butt, <laughs> so. Yeah, um, so the funny thing, and this is this is gonna be a fun way for me to announce this. I was gonna save this for a state of the channel video, but I don't think I'm gonna have any time to make that one. I am currently working on a best of 2021 compilation and uh, I had to watch that entire thing again. Oh, did I get steamed? <laughs> oh, and he didn't help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, I actually, uh, not to toot my own horn here, I, I, I don't like doing this, but I uh, but I legitimately laugh my ass off every time I hear, Mark Kepler equipped with lightweight, suck my fat balls! <laughs> and then when they kill me, I go, I said suck them! <laughs> uh, and then I know at, at, at one point where I was just like, yo, do this, go, 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 and it was just like, oh my god, finally! And then, like at the end, when, I, when we finally got past that tunnel part, I tried to go back for some more supplies. You're like, no, go turn no. around, and turn no. around. <laughs> I was like, no, get your ass back to the light. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, but these the supplies. No. You're like, no. And then you realize that there's actually more supplies ahead of that, so it's like whatever. Yeah, I was right in front of a red box. And I was like, oh, what the fuck am I doing? And <laughs> yeah, not only that, it's like, um, you know, typical, typical RPG rule is that usually at a save point is supplies so uh or before you, know, you go and you get your shit kicked in by a boss yeah yeah but um so yeah uh, but yeah um it's weird it's weird to talk about that in the past tense because like even it was several weeks ago that we recorded that that I know. was the period that was the previous episode <laughs> so if you're watching this in the playlist that must be really weird but hey what can you do um we we lost the footage, so we're just trying to. Yeah, we're just uh, freaking... going. On. And also, I don't think I've said this yet, but um, I've said this to you, but I haven't said this to you guys yet. Um, we're doing this exact same thing for the DLC because, um, as you guys can probably tell from the last episode in episode seven, where I really lost my temper, um, I've had enough of this game, <laughs> and uh, playing it is a nightmare. So. Uh, you're, if you like this format, well, then I got good news for you. The final two episodes of Alan Wake are going to be just like this. <laughs> and and as an added bonus, I haven't seen the DLC footage, so my reaction is going to be completely different. So, um, mm -hmm. yeah, so that's going to yeah. be a plus. As a matter yeah. of fact, um, I have the DLC. I think I never played it. Oh, so then we're going to be, well... You'll be going in blind at least. I already played it, and uh, I have some thoughts about the DLC and this main game, but I'm going to save them for when we get to those parts. Like, I like if you if if you follow me on Twitter, you've already seen what they are. But like, because I, I do a media thread where I do like a little short review in a big thread, like after I've watched something or I played something, um, and I and sometimes I like to use funny pictures. Like the picture I used for Alan Wake was the very first uh, face we saw. Yeah. It was the very first one. Oh, that's an interesting um, topic for discussion. Since, you know, what has made this game hilarious is the glitches and facial rec and, you know, and the facial structures and all that. 
But um, yeah, th- this interesting topic came of late, and I know we kind of touched base on it before, but um, it's been a string of games lately that have been coming out with like insane amounts of bugs, glitches. Oh, oh, oh I know where you're going with this too. <laughs> and it's like, it's like, it's like, yes, it makes for a hilarious compilation video. I, I will say, it does make for a hilarious compilation video, but I'm like, these games were anticipated, and now they're having problems. And it's like, what the hell happened? Yeah, I still remember I was sending you, like, links in the summer, like, a Korean rating board was saying, Oh my god, dude, they're remastering it. This, this, this is going to be so cool. Ugh, looking back. <laughs> yeah, like, um... <laughs> Those things are $60. <laughs> yeah, uh, don't do what I did, um, and be late on the information, because I spent $60 on, uh, the digital edition, so, uh... I tried to, I tried to warn you as soon as I could. Yeah, well, the, the sad part was, you notified me after I downloaded it, so... I'm so how could I have known? That, like, the information was just, like, fresh to me at that point. Yeah. Like, I... I watch a lot of, uh, follow a lot of gaming outlets, and I uh, was slowly like, oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> and another anticipated game that came out that also has its fair share of glitches that normally glitches that I would find with a Game Shark or an Action Replay, um, the Diamond and Pearl remasters. Oh, well, they, they had some, but I guess, like, they got oh, passed out. It, but no, there, there's, like... There's, uh, like, there's some glitches that are not, not good. Um, like, Uh-oh. case in point, the, um, seventh gym, the Snow City gym. Mm-hmm. Now, in that, if you remember, John, you had to slide around on the ice and knock snowballs out of the way, right? Uh, it's been, a, it's been a hot minute since I played Diamond, but I'll well, just say yes. Well, there is, there's obviously, there's also, there's an autosave function in the Diamond and Pro remasters. Yes, I, I did hear about that. But it's like, it's a good thing, but it's also a very bad thing because um, yep. if you have autosave on and you're doing the snow, the snow point city gym and you get stuck between the snowballs at the bottom, yeah, you can't get out. You're soft locked. You're soft locked. And um, if you autosave, you're gonna have a very bad time. Uh, because apparently I've heard several people that had autosave on, they went into the gym, and then they got, they got stuck, and, um, yeah, they were pretty upset. Hmm. Um, yeah, there's, there's some, there were some funny glitches, I will say, uh, like, there were some, but there were also some that were just... I was like, oh boy. And then I look at my pre order that I picked up last week and I'm like, God damn it. Yeah, that's um, the one I, I invest, like my copy of Diamond is sitting right next to me. I'm like, oh, I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait till the till a patch. But also, um, one of my Twitch streamers said they wanted to, they wanted me to stream Brilliant Diamond. So maybe I'll, I'll wait. Well, I'm not going to stream. I'm not going to stream for, let, let me finish that point first. I'm not gonna be streaming for a while because you guys probably saw on Twitter, but um, Streamlabs OBS, the program I've been using for four years. Apparently, they've been using the OBS name and branding in their name, uh, in their own branding without their permission, without OBS's permission. And uh, they tried to trademark it after OBS said like, hey, can you like take our name out of your name? Like me and like 100% of other people thought this was like a collaborative effort. They just never talked about it. No. No, so I gotta find a new. Uh, I gotta find a new program and re- re-migrate all my shit before I can stream again. Oh god, I'm so pissed. Ugh. Yeah. Like so, yeah. It's just like you have these games that are coming out and a cup. They've been anticipated, and then all of a sudden, it's like there is a fuck ton of problems, and it's like what just happened. Um, yeah. Someone on Twitter had like the best thing. It's like, hey, remember when games when they came out, they had like a roadmap of like their additional content coming down the line. So that instead of now, where it's like, oh god, we're sorry, here's the next five patches. Or remember when you could actually play a game out of the out of the pack, 
No internet connection required. Uh, or internet connection was optional. But to play the game, you, it was already, you know, fixated. And, um, you know, and it, even though it had a couple glitches, but the fact that the majority of the game was actually uh, pretty complete. Yeah, I miss those days, too. Um, mm -hmm. Because I can recall, so, like, case in point. Uh, frickin' Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. I'll never forget, like, you know, there were so many times I was like, wait a minute, is that really real? And then, it is. It's like, but and it made for great content. Um, and then you actually find out that there were Easter eggs at one point. There were also, uh, alternates that were put, installed. It's like, like, case in point, I'll never forget. Pliskin's character, um, mm -hmm. if you find a shaver before you meet him, Mm -hmm. If you find a shaver, you and you actually in the cutscene, Raiden gives it to him. Then, when he appears as Snake later, he appears as a shaved Snake. Holy fuck! I played that game like twelve times. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, it's only if you find the uh, shaver before you meet Pliskin, and when he appears at when he appears as Snake, he's sh clean shaven. Yep. So, um, but yeah, like stuff like that, it was really cool. And the fact that it was already put in the, in the game, it's like my life's complete at that point. It's like, don't have to worry about like at, at most, if there was ever a problem, they would have re-released another disc because you could tell by the code on the, um, on the game case, I actually learned that later down the line. Uh, and in the case of Metal Gear Solid, they actually did do that. Yeah. So, or they release another variant, like they did uh, Substance right after Metal Gear Solid 2 Sons of Liberty. So, um, but yeah, like... It was, it, was, it was Substance for 2 and Subsistence for 3. I yes, think. yeah. So, um, but yeah, like, um, you know, but nowadays it's just like... I mean, don't get me wrong, it's great that information does travel so that people are more aware of it, but it's like, but at the same time, it's like, um, yeah, so it's like, oh, you download a digital version, you get the physical copy, and oh, yeah, there's a, pro there's a bunch of problems with it. Well, you better not play it at least until they release the first patch. And chances are that said patch is not going to be everything that you that you and doesn't hundreds or no I'm sorry thousands of other players have already found. Mm -hmm. Made a list, made threads, made you know tweets and everything else, and it's like oh yeah uh, they probably saw all that, but here's what we're giving you, and it's like how does that even like it, it, it's it, it's really sad to see gaming companies now having to backpedal after a release because of crunch, you know, crunching and, you know, a bunch of, like, stuff that you have told me about and not really QAing, you know, QAing a game before its release so you can kind of figure out a decent portion of what is found. And then, of course, um, probably lack of experience. Um... That's why I don't like. That's why I don't mind when games get delayed. It's like whatever. Like whenever I think of a game getting delayed now, that's one instance where I go, "Oh, good. That means that guarantees you won't end up like Grand Theft Auto the Trilogy, yeah. Cyberpunk, Sonic 06. Yeah, just uh, to name a few. I mean, it's um, it, it, it's really sad. It's like um, because now. Well, I don't know about all games, but I know most games that have these bugs and glitches are playable within reason. Um, you know, but uh, yeah, it, it's it's really sad as a gamer because it's like, you know, we could have handled this a while ago. I mean, you know, handle this a while ago and. You know, and then release it later, which, you know... It's, it's like a, a Rockstar, for example, has like a billion fucking dollars. They, they're a billion dollar company. How did they let this happen? And it's not because they don't have the resources. Don't you goddamn tell me it's not because of that. But 
I think it, it, it's greed and trying. They tried to push it out before Christmas, before it was ready. Yeah, and um, sorry, I had to take a sip of water. All here. the games I think I mentioned. Uh, I think all the all the games I had mentioned in our uh, discussion, like when I gave examples, they all have one thing in common. They all came out before Black Friday when they shouldn't have. Yeah, so that's why. And, and what's funny is Black Friday. Um, you know, it, it's it, every year. It always is one of the well, the holiday season in general uh, is the biggest, uh, the biggest time. Yeah, yeah uh, that's when people that just just get they just pull things off the shelf and like get it for a Christmas present. Like that's just how it is. But it's uh, what's up? What's that? Oh, I, I was pausing the video because like like if you notice the video is like really lagging pretty hard. But like honestly, we're not missing a ton other than just. Yeah, I, I I see the lag, but it's it's not really bothering anything. But I mean, it, once we get to like the cutscenes, it'll it'll bug me, especially since we're gonna, we're doing the DLC ones next. But like yeah. you, for you you guys, you guys don't see this. You guys are seeing a real time video, but for us, it's just like what what's happening. Yeah, but no. So that's I needed to get that's what's going to hold on a second. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna upload it. I'm gonna open it again. Okay, because I I think uh quick time was that. Well, it's perfect too because uh, there was a part in the video where I, I think I paused it because you fell asleep in the original recording. Oh. Yeah. Okay. It was like right around here. <sighs> ah, there we go. Now, I hope that once I send it to you. Okay. This is better. Not perfect, but. That's about as good as it's going to get. I don't see anything. I sent it to you. Uh, it's not there. I I streamed it to you. I, it, I just see your your icon. That's all I see. Oh. Unless you hit the wrong screen share option. No, I'm pretty sure I did. Well, uh, I still see just your icon. Okay, let me. Why don't I leave the call and come back? Don't don't stop your recording. Okay, I'm gonna try oh. this one more time. Okay. Ah! Or it just says watch stream. Yeah, it's click that. Oh. Oh, uh, hang on. Let me. Yeah, that's that's better. It's not perfect, but it's not perfect, actually... but it's a lot better. Oh, but well, perfect timing. We're at the end. This was the absolute end, where uh, the woman in the dress is trying to throw uh, girders at us. We're getting to the quote-unquote final boss, which honestly, as final bosses go, probably one of the easiest in existence. I struggled. I mean, I, I think the easiest final boss ever <sighs> is the one is the one at the end of the Deadpool game where you. It's a quick time event where you punch a guy in the nuts and that's it. <laughs> oh, did, oh, I paused it to wait because I was trying to get you to wake it back up. Shit, oh. that's what that's what happening. Okay, so like I'll deal with like the the timing being off with that. Like I'll just cut out the parts we lost. Yeah, it, it, it was not as scary the first goddamn time. It, it well to me it was. To me, it was. It was pretty. Oh. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, that was a glitch. That was not supposed to happen. Like I jumped down this time, and it's fine. But that was a glitch. Yeah, but uh, see. Now, when I played the played this uh for the first time, it was pretty ominous. So it was like. Yeah, it, it, to me, this was, uh... Oh, the final checkpoint, I think. <laughs> yes, they're not gonna win jumping down! But uh yeah, so this is pretty this is pretty freaky. <laughs> that, that's never not gonna be funny. You can't win. 
Meanwhile, this bitch is throwing everything at you. Everything, the bus, the minecart, the planes, the <laughs> boats. I mean, I, w I was going to say everything in the kitchen sink, but we already called an episode that. In fact, that was the episode that went out uh, yesterday. As of this recording. And then Black Friday's episode is the modern camping equipment is like weight, which is uh, the previous one. But yeah, this, uh... This, this, this shit was pretty freaky, so, uh... But in terms of gameplay, you just aim your flashlight, and that's fucking it. But I, I yeah, I just, I just threw flashbangs, and it was over. Oh yeah, the flare gun was enough. Or at least I thought. Yeah, I took care of most of it. Yeah, two flare guns, and it was over. I, I don't recall. Or maybe, maybe no, I had like three shots, and that was done. Yeah, then they tried the birds again, but I had a flare gun. Yeah, it was three. It was three. There we go. Alan Wake's done. Hooray! Shh. Oh, and it's playing normal now during the cutscenes. Thank goodness. Uh -huh. Oh, it's like they knew what gun I was using. That was perfect. Hmm. Ah. <gasps> Time for my Jesus allegory. And... Oh! <laughs> he had to mug one last time before he went, went in the water. <laughs> No, oh, it was That was the worst sex we ever had. <laughs> You're a kid. Nightmare. No. Everything's fine. You're home. It wasn't a dream. <laughs> Turn the lights on. Turn the lights on. I don't want to. I'm so glad the remaster fixed this shit. This is so funny. Power's out. There's no light. Come back to bed, and I'll make you forget all about your fear. My fear? It's your fear. Why aren't you afraid? You're not Alice. Turn the lights on now. Where's the clicker? What did you do with it? Alan. What is that clicker thing anyway? Is it like a separate light switch? I... That thing he finds in the box. Come back to bed. Have you taken your pills? Do you want me to call Dr. No, don't call the Rankin Bass doctor, please. I read your manuscript. It's brilliant. Departure is your best work yet. Genius. <laughs> Come back to bed. We'll talk more about it in the morning. Come back to bed, Alan. Come back to bed. Tom. Don't. No, I'm. Oh God, the, the old lady was like, "Come back to bed." I'm like, "No." Oh, what the heck? There. That was weird. All right, and this is where I was thinking. This is where I think I was looking up what to do. It's like, uh. Yeah, because you had to do. Yeah, yeah. I think you had to do them in a certain order. Uh, not this one, but there's a later one. But this one, you just do you just do this one, and it's over. But there was a... Yeah, and then use the light on your wife, because she's fake. Oh no, it's Big Daddy. <laughs> you must find your way to the cabin. It stands in your way. It won't let you pass. Wait a minute, I thought we weren't playing Kingdom Hearts games anymore. <laughs> hmm. hey. Hello. Hey, how's it going? <laughs> God damn it, that's an old reference. <laughs> that, now that's a throwback. <laughs> 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 Use the clicker. The Alan Wake clone is the is the pre-remaster Alan Wake. Yeah. Ah, here we go. This is the final part. Bird barrel phone shopping cart. Path.
I'm leaving you. What? I'm leaving you, Alan. I met someone. I'm in love with someone else. Alice? No, what are you saying? You can't... You don't love me. How could you? You don't even love yourself. Yeah, I think if you just hover over the other things, it just makes more objects. So, you just have to hover over what brings you to the next area. Who are you? What have you done with my Alice? Alan? What are you doing? Put the light back on. What are you doing, Alan? Stop! Bird Leg Cabin. Is that, what, is that what it was called? Bird Leg Cabin? You're not my Barbara. Or are we just uh, hitting cabin? Yeah, you hit cabin, and no, then you there. Barbara Jagger, I made a terrible mistake. I should have never written you back. You came back wrong. Your heart is. No, if you hit bird, it will summon the freaking birds. Put that knife away, Thomas. Put it down. And I think that's it. Get on the hobby horse, Alan. Huh? Now you will never get her back. Oh, she's a hole in her chest. I am much older than you. I mean, I knew that. Older than your first work of art. Yeah, that I thing. A new face to wear. Uh, Someone else could dream me free. I'm gonna give you a hug. No! So remember, kids, if a creepy old lady tries to drown her wife, just give her a hug, and that solves all your problems. <laughs> the end? No, I think there's another, there another scene. <laughs> so like the moment he jumped into the waters and all this shit started. Or am I am I incorrect? Because the, the the cabin was never there. I'm confused. Yeah, but the, yeah, but the ending was always like. Yeah, the ending was always, like, confusing as hell. Yeah, they left it open to interpretation, I guess. And then the... The DLC, I don't think, explains it. It just... I don't know. I was just... I was, just, I was like, in the zone of just trying to get the game done. I, I, I didn't pay attention to the cutscenes, because, like... I wanted to, um... Save that for when you and I go through this. Yeah. Like what we're doing now. I'll, I'll try and get a better read on it then. But this... Okay, so she survived. But... but there was... There was... But... But did Al Alan... Yeah, did that's, Alan that's the big thing. Did Alan drown? Did... Like... You know, it, it, again, it's just... It's, you know, it's up to interpretation Alan? because it's like, well, she was dragged out of the house, supposedly by her sounds, and then now this. So that's... Yeah, I, th I, th I think the cabin was a ruse by that creepy old lady, and then 
how once they entered that cat, the quote unquote cabin, which wasn't real, that's when all this really started. But when Alan jumped into the lake, that's when the shit really got uh, heated. Yeah, because like, because like it's basically like a dark pool, I think, and then like that, that fucked with his mind when he was down there. So now he's now he's seeing see, seeing people to tell him that modern camping equipment's lightweight while they stab him. Yeah, so it, it, it like I said, it's just ah. There's the penis bridge. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just makes you. It just really makes you think. Yeah. Well, but it's officially deer fest. <laughs> Oh, there's that deer. <laughs> she has a normal face. <laughs> oh, I love these two. Yes. <laughs> we never found out what her deal was. Yeah, that's the other thing. It's like... She's still holding a lantern like a creepo and... Oh, I'm trapped in this house. <laughs> yeah, we never found out what happened to that cop either. It's not a lake. Oh. It's not a lake. It's, a it's an ocean. Lake. And he turns to the camera. <laughs> and, and that was Alan Wake. Uh, the base game. The base game. I gotta say, interesting story. Interesting concept and execution, really repetitive and annoying. Like the enemy placement and variant uh, variations was really, really aggravating and downright repetitive. But I'm not as hard on it now as I was when we finished because I have some more thoughts about the next part we're gonna do that kind of address the issues that I had. So I enjoyed my um. I'm, by the way, I'm muting this for sure. Um, the the mute because this is clearly David Bowie. Um, but I enjoyed the experience. Largely, my experience was laughing at the dumb shit and the funny faces, which I can enjoy in the remaster, or when uh, Alan Wake returns in that other Remedy game. But uh, yeah, I can't say I regret the experience. There are games that I've played on the channel that. I, I would play this again over the Battletoads reboot for sure. <laughs> never that game, that fucking game never again. But yeah, I had fun and I'm interested in checking out remedies of this stuff, especially Control, which apparently continues Alan Wake's story after this. So before Control, we had like jack shit for Alan Wake, but now now there's a whole DLC about him in there. So yay, maybe down the line we'll do that. <laughs> Anyway, I'll and excuse me. I, I've, I guess I'll let you uh, give your thoughts too. Now that we're all done. Well, again, it's. Uh, I remember. I remember playing this game when it came out, and you know, from time to time, I would dabble in it. Um, definitely one of those standalone titles that I actually like. That wasn't mainstream at all. Like it had no mainstream connection or reverence to whatever was out at that time it was just its own standalone thing and it was just like mm -hmm. it was just the and the way that they approached it too because i even got the collector's edition and, I, and honestly it was one of the more affordable collector's editions i've ever gotten uh it came the k the game and a bunch of other stuff actually came in a book for a case it was like a mm -hmm. hollowed out book and uh that was cool, you know, and, um, yeah, and, and just, so, definitely one of those, um, titles that I always, I always enjoy, uh, and, of course, I got the, uh, remastered, uh, downloaded on, uh, my PS5, and, uh, I plan to tackle that eventually, uh, just because the look of it on the remaster is, is amazing, so, um, yeah, but, yeah, definitely a, definitely a title that's, like, this is a title that I can come back to at like any other point and play through it all the way through. So, um, you know, uh, definitely one of my favorites for sure. 
Yeah, I'll, I'll check out the remaster at some point. But I, after this playthrough, I want to give it a break. Oh, yeah. Uh, so I, I guess my next time I, I'll hear the rest of Alan Wake's story is whenever I play Control. And uh, I, I play that. It, they, they call it like the second episode AWE, which I think stands for something else. But the AW is pretty obvious what it stands for. <laughs> well, yeah. And then Remedy said they're doing another game after Control that marries the Alan Wake and Control universe. So that'd be an idea for 2027 when they <laughs> finish that. <laughs> Because <laughs> yeah. Lord knows that, I mean, they 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 made they released Control like two years ago, so they're probably only just barely working on it now. Yeah. And as long as it doesn't come out like Grand Theft Auto the trilogy, uh, I'll, I'll wait for it. Yeah. I need a break. I need a break from this, but also for the channel's sake, this is probably the oldest series that we've ever done that we finished, well after we started it. Yeah. Like um, I nuked the uh, Resident Evil Two playthrough because you and I said, "No, we don't. Need, we're not. We're not going to finish that. The the remake's better." Oh yeah, and the remake was better by a mile. So it was like, it actually and the, the videos are doing better too. Yeah, it, it's um, but yeah, so um, yeah the the old Resident Evil Two playthrough uh, views were like thirty three, but then the other ones two, three, one. I'm like no. No one's watching those. No one will miss those. Yeah. Bye bye. Like yeah. Take a mat. Take a match to it and throw it. Uh, throw it some oil on it. Boom. Gone. Oh yeah. Um. <laughs> I did that to a lot of playthroughs. Honestly, uh, I, I hate to do that, but like when like when we redid a lot of play uh, playthroughs, like I did that to the Resident Evil one playthrough, and you and I will do that one at some point too. So like it's just like not our best work. And we're not we're not in a position where like anybody will actually miss them. Like we're still a fledgling channel where it's just like, who's gonna know that those were gone? <laughs> yeah, but um you know it um <sighs> Yeah, I think we're running out of things to say. I think that I skipped the credits at this point because I think we're pretty much done. But um yeah, so thank you guys all so much for watching. We're not done with Alan Wake just yet. We're done with the base game. But the next two episodes are going to be on the two DLCs, The Signal and The Writer. And it's going to be in the same vein as these episodes. So I'm not sure if I'm going to call this the finale or if I'm going to call it and I'm going to call the other episodes the bonus ones. Or if I should just make this episode 20 and the other ones are the finale. I, I'll decide later, I guess. But uh, thank you guys all so much for watching. And um when these episodes are done, that means Spooky Bones actually is over. Spooky Bones, the event, ended a while ago, but once episode 22 of Alan Wake's over, then Spooky Bones Rhyme's done for 2021. <laughs> so thank you guys all so much for watching, and we'll see you for the next two episodes where we conquer the DLCs. We're going to conquer, well, I already did. They're going to be just like this where we're, we, we talk over the footage, and we'll, uh, we'll see you guys there. Um... So yeah, have a good one, guys. Thank you guys again, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye. See ya.